As if we don't have enough to worry about these days, tonight there's word an abandoned Chinese space station is supposed to fall back to Earth this week. But of course, the big question is when, where? Yeah, very big question. <laughs> KCAL 9's Tina Patel is live in Eastvale with details and reaction tonight. They say it's a pretty big area that it might fall. I guess it's eventually going to fall, right, Tina? Yeah, and that's a scary thought, but a lot of the people we talked to tonight say they aren't worried because they say the chances of it coming somewhere near us is pretty slim. You might want to keep your eyes to the sky over the next week. A Chinese space station that has been slowly losing altitude will soon come crashing down to Earth, somewhere between 43 degrees north and south, which means it could hit Southern California. What do people here think about the possibility? I think that some people just make things up just to get attention. I would think it was made up story because I would think we would be doing something about it. Scientists say the story is real, but there's not much they can do because there's actually more than half a million pieces of space junk orbiting the Earth. Of course, this piece is bigger than most. Even if most of it burns up in the atmosphere, what comes down could be the size of an RV. Uh, about that, uh, you know, like a Winnebago in space. I'm about to undock from Tiangong. You might have heard of the Tiangong. It created a bit of drama in the Sandra Bullock movie, Gravity. It was launched back in 2011 but abandoned two years ago. It gradually slows down over time and slows down and slows down till eventually it's not going fast enough to stay in orbit. So could someone on Earth be hit by the debris? I don't think we should be worried that worried about it. I think if it's time for you to go, it's going to be time to go. <laughs> That's my attitude. Experts say the chances are about 1 million times smaller than the odds of winning the Powerball jackpot. And the best guess of when we should look up? At this point, we know within plus or minus two days of April the 1st, it's likely. Yep, right around April Fool's Day. Kind of funny the timing with that. Now, the best case scenario is that it just falls somewhere in the ocean, and then, of course, no one will be hurt.